clearly a lot you deserve to win the game. Um, played better than us, won to win more than us, um, and then uh, apologized for the way that we performed and, and, I, and I felt disrespected um, the game and the, and the university and, and guys' opportunity to have scholarships to play Division One basketball. Uh, and that's on me, and I will we'll, we'll discuss it and uh, try and correct it and explain to guys uh, how valuable this opportunity is that, that guys might not appreciate as much as they should. How much did you guys lose uh, with Kayvon on the bench tonight? Not, not that much it seemed as far as having five and they should kind of step up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Again, yeah, if you're not in the right mind frame to play, then, then what do you lose? What 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 K did we have tonight? I, I, I don't know what we're going to have. You know, um, obviously when he's at his best, he's, he's tremendous. And he's a big part of our team. Uh, he's a big part of our personality as a team. And obviously you saw a pretty personality-less team tonight. Um, but we still had some chances, especially in the first half, where we can follow the formula and we can stay together and we can finish some layups and, you know, rebound once in a while. Or you maybe put yourself in a good enough position to win the game. But uh, it's got to be it's got to be important to people, and uh, I don't know if it's important enough to guys, to be honest. And that's uh, a hard thing for a coach to have to evaluate, you know, because when when you kind of when you when you uh, make an offer to somebody and they commit to you, you kind of go like on a premise that this is important to them because it's important to you and. Tonight it didn't seem that important, and, and for a majority of the year, I really liked how we've battled and fought, win or lose. And uh, tonight there was just no fight, no battle, no no team or togetherness. Right? Uh, and that's you know you know five point game or seven point <coughs> game or you know whatever it was at the half, five point game. Like oh, you're down two possessions. Man, if you can come out and play really hard, you know it's going to be a dogfight. And then just to lay down, which is what we pretty much did, is uh, is difficult. How difficult is it for and it's something I guess? I think some of your players allowed their poor shooting affect them down the other end enough to lack the hustle. Production. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, we we certainly did do that, and um, and even with that being said, we shot 42 percent and 36 percent from the field, which I think are higher than our year averages. But again, when you're when you're when you're focused on um, scoring, or you're focused on, you know, maybe a missed shot or here or there, then you're not really into the team. Like you're not into the team. You're not worrying about what's important. You know, uh, instead, when I miss, maybe I should defend harder because I'm not being as successful scoring the ball. You know, there were a lot of shots tonight that, that I thought we had great opportunities to score and we missed. That happens sometimes in basketball. But then you also got to have some true toughness to go down and just grind. All right, win the game 40-39. Win the game 52-51. Right? Well, whatever it is, if winning is what you value most, right? And, and, and each of us only has uh, so much brain power where we can put our attention or our focus in a certain place and anything that distracts from winning or doing your job as a part of the team uh, doesn't help you win and, and you saw a lot of guys that, that got distracted tonight when things didn't go their way and that's uh, unfortunate. As you watched Frank and Zana uh, and, and then with the work they did in the paint, what allowed them and, and really all of LIU to be so successful right now? Uh, want, desire, Right? Um, I mean, to get three offensive rebounds in a game, one by Maddie, one by Braden. Like, where's your motor at? Where's your desire to go rebound? You know, guys that have, you know, play 16 minutes, can you get an offensive rebound? Can you crash every time? You're playing in two and a half, three minute spurts. You can't go and exhaust your tank for two and a half, three minutes and then come out. Somehow, Zana can play 36 and get 11 rebounds. And when we have guys that, you know, can't sniff an offensive rebound and they're playing far fewer minutes where they should be able to play with a lot more energy and intensity. And again, it's, it's want to and desire. I mean, those two guys are, you know, I think to me, um, as good a, 
group as we have in, in the NEC in terms of their ability to play together. Frank obviously is, you know, reigning player of the week and, you know, returning first team all league player and, you know, he's a hell of a player. Um, and Zana is a bull. You know, he's just strong, he's physical, he's aggressive, he's constantly, you know, getting into your body. And if you're not ready for that, you, they're going to eat you up. And, um, you know, at times, where we actually tried to execute some of our defensive formula, we were able to slow them. But again, it's it's uh, I don't know what the, the the quote is. Something about you know not rising to your expectations, you fall to your your level of, of training and understanding and all that kind of stuff. And you know when we get sometimes in these tough spots or when things get difficult for us as individuals, we resort back to whatever we think is going to help us in that possession. And a lot of time it's. It's maybe not inside the team concept, offensively or defensively. You know, um, you know, we don't want people to get to the middle of the floor, but you constantly see people drive in the middle because, you know, you, you people aren't making the adjustment, right? And, and it's like, how many times are you gonna learn this? You can be taught the same lesson and not learn it. Um, so it's 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 frustrating all around. But you know, those two guys are a lot to handle even when you're at your best, let alone when you're, uh, you know, hobbling around out there. There was a period, I think about the 14 minute mark in the second half, where after a made three, they put together like three really, you, you guys put together like three pretty solid defensive possessions. Did you notice that and, and did you see what was different about that than maybe the rest of the game? Yeah, like guys tried. You know, uh, guys tried. They tried to pressure the ball. They tried to make themselves uncomfortable. And I think if you saw at the end of that stretch, there was, there was a baseline out of bounds possession and Deshaun Burke was like this. And Lorenzen Wright was like this because it takes effort to win. So for a three or four possession stretch, that's that they, they were giving effort. And it, it's funny, we were in practice last week and, and uh, or earlier this week, and uh, I got on Roberto uh, because again he didn't guard something correctly, and then I challenged him to like really work, and he did it for two possessions, and I thought he was gonna pass out. But yeah, that's a guy you're supposed to rely on, right? Um, you know, who's supposed to be mature, turned 23 yesterday, he's, he's supposed to be mature and understand what, what, what it takes, right? And um, again, that's how you prepare yourself, that's how you, you know, are, 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 are working on a, on a day-to-day basis so that when you get in these situations, you can compete. Um, and again, we, we have nine guys that played, you know, ten guys that played, like, you can't go get tired for three minutes and then come out, because it's funny, when guys come out, oh man, why am I coming out? You should be out there exhausting yourself, so you need to come out. On some of our better teams, that's what would happen. Guys would ask out because they knew and trusted in the team that I'm going to go play to exhaustion. My teammate's going to come in. He's going to do the same thing, and then I'll go back in and do the same thing for him because we are all we're all like in this together, and um, we're still all in this together, except we just look like jerks tonight because we don't want to do that. Um, so. Wait the first half. Um, LA, you got a little bit of a run. You got to stop at the end of the half. You got two free throws, but then you allowed Bats to go, but went to the court. And then that carried over to the second half because they scored seven points to start the second half. And the lead extended from three to ten. How key was that? Um, they're just, it's just a deflating play. Right? Bats' life was a deflating, deflating play. Six and a half seconds, make two free throws, three point game. You know, get down in the stance, move your feet, make him go towards the sideline. Don't let him go straight down the floor. And I'm sure when we watch it, he'll have driven by three or four guys that, you know, made no effort to do that. Uh, and then in the locker room, you know, you, you, you challenge him and you say, okay, and this team's been good at, at, at really responding to a lot of challenges, but you sit there and you say to yourself, like, all right, what are we about? Like, what are you about? We didn't really give very good effort in the first half. What are you about? Right? And uh, then you come out and you give up seven to start the second half. <clears throat> Unfortunately, tonight that's we showed what we were about, and, and we weren't about you know trying to compete and, and, and get the, and win the game the way that you're supposed to be. When you only get 31 of these a year, you know you only get 31 of them. We got 15 left, and you know the season's now halfway over. Uh, and we've had some really good team wins throughout the year, and, and, and today we just we just couldn't seem to find it.